This pandemic has been difficult for everyone, but especially challenging for folks who are visually impaired, who rely on guide dogs. The animals, of course, highly skilled with years of special training, but one thing they're not trained for is social distancing. Big 7 photojournalist Keith Lopez went inside an organization assessing for compassion from the public. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, I'm Matt Sherwood, and this is Chris. Chris is my guide dog. He's an American black lab, and he's my best friend. You're a good dog. I lost my eyesight uh, at 24 years old. Uh, it happened in three days. A large contributor, along with an eye disease, was concussions I received while playing football. So I'll say find Long Island Railroad or, or find train and he'll take me there. Today is International Guide Dog Day. It's important for the public to know that the dogs are trained to avoid people as a general rule. That's you know, part of their core function, uh, but they don't understand social distancing. Guide dogs are taught to travel in a straight line that is a flexible line around obstacles from point A to point B. So our dogs are naturally going to go around people. They just don't quite understand the six feet of space. Social distancing has created a, a bit of a uh, difference in the way Chris guides me. If a dog were to be navigating some subway travel, once they enter the subway car, if you notice the dog is locating a seat that's very close to you in these unusual times, the best thing to do would just be to give them the right of way. For guide dogs, if there's a line with six, six feet in between each person, they're probably going to go to the front of the line. So he may think that there may be people just standing there and back of the line is is that first person. We'd appreciate if the public could understand that, you know, and help our guide dog users out. It's never appropriate to pet a guide dog without permission, and especially in these times, that's going to violate the CDC's recommendation. And so we ask to keep your hands to yourself and please just give them this space that we all need right now. We're trying to play by the rules just like everyone else. And please practice compassion with those who are blind. We, we can't see, right? We're depending on our, our guide dog's eyes. Uh, to be ours. We can hear really well, so, you know, just just tell us and, and we can definitely correct our guide dog. Shake. Good boy. <laughs> Chris, kiss. Good boy. <laughs> Those who are blind have a lot of challenges and we're doing the best we can with this, just like everyone else. You know, I like I like the, the word compassion. You know, look, we got to have compassion for each other in that situation and all kinds of situations. I mean, look, we're all in this thing together. And by the way, with uh, more than 200 dogs and puppies in the care right now, the Guide Dog Foundation is looking for volunteers and temporary homes during this pandemic.